ripped up and ready to go. The Chicago Hawks have the Los Angeles Thunderbirds and the world champion. And this possibly could be in tonight. The world championship in store for the Thunderbirds. Can they win it in four straight? We'll know after four big skating periods. And number 32 and number 30 out in the front of the pack. Vicky, Vicky McHugh with a new hairstyle. But in the meantime, she's right on my ass. Donna Young, look at that little snipper. She's watching the game, enjoying herself. But the Hawks don't count them out. I'll tell you, here comes Georgia Haas. Look at Georgia Haas and Debbie Hilton ready to get into it again. Oh, yeah, look at this, Dick. This is what has made the T-Birds such a great, great team, and they are going on and might possibly do it. Do you see how Donna Young just slithered right on through there, turned around, just went right on by. One more that's, time. That's the <laughs> way to do it. One more and they move. They really motivate down here at the Olympic on the term. That's for sure. And I'll remind the people, you know, if the Thunderbirds wrap this up in four straight here in this game this evening and get that coveted championship that they very dearly won, there will be a game Saturday night. That's right. There will be a game Saturday night, an all-star game, an all-star lineup against the Thunderbirds. And on halftime, Jim, that's, oh, that's going to be something else. Debbie Helton and George Oz. We'll talk about that a little later. Back to the action. All right, the gal out in front. To, to lose. They don't want to do it now because the T-Birds can do it right here tonight. If they win this game, that's all over for the World Series. The championship goes to the T-Birds. But what happens if the Hawks comes back and able to do it? Well, you know El Fabuloso, he's not a quitter, that's for sure. And he's had a great team the past couple of seasons. He's really brought him to great heights, that's for sure.
Jim, what's on a head-on-head -head battle and defeated her soundly, and also in a four-gal match race, a very, very interesting match race. It defeated her twice. Now, why in the world would this gal want to go against her third time? She's got malicious thought, I'm sure, in the likes of Georgia Haas. You've got to be careful with this gal. Well, four minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Jim is winding down trackside to pick up a fantastic interview. And every time we got Pat Chinodato, Dodato along with Pinky Fowler, Fowler number 32, number three. Look at the gal with a fancy coat, T-Bird hat on. Enjoying herself. World Series action. Well, we got to try with it. Fowler. And Fowler knocks Pat Chinodato out of there with a the score. 49 for the Hawks and 48 for the Thunderbirds with a slip. 1.8. The gal's picking up points now. Look at Sherry Simpson rough him up. Another good-looking gal. Sherry Simpson and Pinky Fowler working her way through that pack. Up in front is Fowler. Fowler's going to work him a little gal. Australia. There's going to be a big, big match race. Even if the World Series goes to game number five, or if it's going to be the All-Stars against the world-famous Los Angeles T-Birds, but at halftime, it's a big thing. You've got a big match race against Georgia Haas, and what's going to happen? She's up to a lot of tricks, you know, Deb. Well, I know, but you know what, Timmy? I beat the, beat the woman twice, and uh, I'm confident I can do it for a third time. I, I don't know what tricks that she thinks she has, but I can take care of her, and even if she takes me down, I'm going to take her down with me. This is my chance to get rid of her. She's been taunting us all year. Well, Deb, just don't take her too lightly. She's got a lot of tricks. Dick Holloway, back to you. That's right. You heard Debbie Helder down there. She's only gone against her twice and thinks the third time she can do it again. But Georgia Haas has other feelings on Saturday night. They're going to wrap up a good one. That's for sure. The two heads locked in it. Time 
looks like there's no score in there, no score, Jimmy. Not enough time for a score, but we're going to be right back with more of this game. So hang in there. El Fabuloso, he's pointing at him. There's no four straight, no four straight. Well, we've got a full 10-minute segment coming up here. That's right, a 10-minute period with a score of 54 to 52. The Thunderbirds out in front here. Jim, you're talking about the Hawks. You think they're looking strong. They're going to pull off a victory here tonight and break that string of three straight. I think the Thunderbirds are going to wrap it up. I definitely do. And this year they're right. 
right back there again in the World Series. That's right, they've lost three straight, but tonight they're showing possibly they, they can stop that. 